sitting out on the deck this morning. I need to kind of arrange my palm trees in a little bit different way because they definitely are kind of in my line of sight, but just sitting out here enjoying some coffee. I picked up this mug. I posted about it on my Instagram story from Target. And so um, I'm consistently heating up my coffee, consistently. So I thought that this would be nice to try. And this brand was 10 bucks, isn't that cute? So I'm drinking some coffee. I also got um, one of their 20 ounce bottles as well. Um, they had the wine glasses, the, um, yeah, wine glasses, and then like the 30 ounce cups, but I have a ton of those, so I thought this was a great size as well. So I've got some water in here, got my coffee. I'm listening to an audiobook. Wow, sorry that that screen is, doesn't do too well on the camera, I guess, but I'm editing some YouTube videos and kind of getting some stuff going here. But just a really nice, calm, peaceful morning. I think it's like 65 degrees out, so that's what I got going on. Good morning, friends. Ignore what's happening here. I just woke up and I'm having some coffee and just sitting out on the deck. So I thought I would take you through my day today. Um, I don't know if we'll extend it, extend it past the day. It just depends on kind of what shenanigans I get into today. But I'm sitting out here drinking coffee right now um, and I got to get a workout in. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do a whole video on this, but I've I've gained weight, um, and I need to get back to my normal working out multiple um, times a week and just back on the grind. And I, yeah, I could sit here and talk about that forever, so we don't even need to dive into it. But um, I'm going to try to get a workout in, and then it's right now it's only like 65, but it's supposed to get up to like 80 today, so. I will probably um, hit the pool at some point. I would think so. Now I just gotta get the motivation to get that workout done. <laughs> so I'll show you what I have going. Her fragrance wise right now, I have lit Spun Vanilla Sugar from Homeworks. And so it's just starting to get pulled out. And so last night I had this lit as well as um, Oh, what is that candle called? Frosted Cupcake from Bath and Body Works. And so last night I had these both lit in about, I don't know, two hours or so after I lit both of them and both of them pulled out. The house was just such a lovely vanilla cupcake scent. It was so, so good. So I'm going to try to do that this morning while I am still in the house and I'm going to go get Try to hit a workout here. Okay, slight change of plans. I was getting dressed to work out and then I thought, you know, it's so beautiful out, I should go take a walk instead. So I'm gonna go take a really long walk. Um, I'm pretty into like halfway through the guest list, um, that book on audio, and that's like a Reese Witherspoon book club pick. So I thought, let's just go enjoy this nice weather. There are plenty of days to lift and maybe I'll lift this afternoon, kind of once I finish off the rest of the day, but it's so nice out. So I'm going to go walk instead. So I wanted to share my morning skincare routine with you guys. A lot of people ask me what I use for skincare, you know, morning and night. And so it really changes all the time. It just kind of depends on what products I have at that moment. So this is what I'm currently using in the morning. Um, Normally, I do not shower in the morning, so I just showered now because I went and took that walk, but um, normally I shower at night, but no matter whether I've just washed my face or if I um, am just waking up, my next step is this toner. So the Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. I also use that at night when I'm not using like glycolic acid, so I've been using that pretty consistently. Then I go in with this Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I just got this sent to me. I'm on the Good Molecules PR list, which I'm super, you know, kind of giddy about. That makes me feel, um, you know, really good. But 100%, not just saying this, I've really enjoyed every Good Molecules product that they've sent me. So, um, yeah, I've really been enjoying that and um, I haven't been using it for too too long so I can't say I've noticed tons of differences yet so we'll have to see how it goes but that's my first um, kind of serum step. 
I've then been going in next with this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. It's got a peptide complex in it. Um, I got this in an Allure Beauty box, and so I thought those might pair nicely together, a vitamin C and a peptide. So kind of go in with that next. The moisturizer I'm using is this Vitaz Perfector. I know I'm butchering that, but this is the anti-age day cream with SPF 15. I got this sent to me from the company. I don't, I, I like the way it feels a lot. I think it's really nice and moisturizing and I really like the way my skin feels afterwards, um, but it's so heavily perfumed. So um, yeah, I, I don't love that because it's so heavily scented, um, but it is a nice moisturizer otherwise. It has SPF 15 in it, but I actually mixed in some other SPF. Let me see if I have it here, maybe. Yeah, um, I have this Neutrogena Clear Face SPF 30. So I ended up just adding some of this to that moisturizer and mixing it in really well, just because I felt like, I don't know, SPF 15 is not enough. Um, but that's the moisturizer I'm using right now. And then if I go in with the eye cream, I'm using my Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. So that's kind of my skincare routine. So I just finished that, I'm letting that soak in. Um, so I need to do my makeup and kind of get ready here. So my mom actually ended up calling me while I was on my walk. And so we're gonna go to brunch, um, which I haven't been going to too many restaurants or anything. I've been really good at kind of staying away, but um, we reserved a table on their website. They talk about social distancing and everything. So I'm really hopeful that that's the case. So I'm going to let my hair air dry for a little bit, start putting on my makeup and start getting ready for that. So this is what I came up with to wear for brunch. I've had this dress, I'm not even kidding, maybe since high school and I'm 26. So this dress has been with me for a really long time. I don't wear it super often because it is like super bold and bright, but it's been a great dress because it's really fit me in a lot of different stages. When I've been my biggest, when I've been my smallest, when I'm kind of in the middle like I am now, um, it has fit me consistently. So I decided I haven't worn it at all this summer to um, bust this out. I'll just wear some black sandals with it. Also, I'm wearing just like a kind of beaded black bracelet. I actually found this in a Goodwill bag. So I got like a bulk jewelry Goodwill bag that had tons of bracelets in it. So I thought that was cute. And then my earrings I'm just wearing. I wear these all the time. These are from Sally's Beauty, actually. They're like iridescent earrings. Um, I got these as a birthday present from one of my best friends in college, I think when I turned 22. And I have worn them pretty consistently ever since then. They're like the perfect earring. If I don't know what to wear, I'll wear these. So this is a floor length, floor length dress. So just thought it would be cute for brunch. Um, Let's see, let's turn it around for my makeup. So this is what my makeup looks like, just kind of light and fresh. Um, I'm wearing on my lips the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Um, just wanted something since I'm gonna be eating and drinking that was just kind of easy when it get all over my face. But yeah, just really simple, kind of fresh looking makeup today. I would like, love to see how the day goes to go to the pool this afternoon. So. Um, I wanted something that either I could easily take off or um, I could deal kind of melting on my face in this afternoon. But yeah, I need to kind of tease my hair, kind of just mess with my hair a little bit more, but that is the look. So it is about 1.40 in the afternoon. I just got back from um, brunch with my mom. We went out to, um, if any of you guys are from St. Louis area, I don't know, do I have any subscribers in the St. Louis area? And now I'm wondering if I shut my garage door. Let's swing back around here. Um, do you guys ever do that? Are anybody else OCD kind of like me? Like, I guarantee you I did shut it, but now I'm like, mm, did I shut my garage door? I don't really know. <sighs> yep, sure did. Okay. I don't know if anybody else is in the St. Louis area. I went to Vito's in the Valley in Chesterfield, if you guys are, like I said, from the area. And the food was good, but oh my God, terrible service, terrible. We had been there and it wasn't busy. There were maybe, maybe five tables in the whole place. Um, and it took 
40 minutes for them to take our uh, order. It took 30 minutes to get any sort of drinks to our table. Unbelievably slow. I don't know what the deal was. So definitely was not impressed by that. Um, yeah, we're really not impressed by that. We were there for like over two hours for a lunch that should have taken like an hour. But in any case, had um, a glass of rosé, some salmon bruschetta, super tasty. So then we ended up going, um, there's an outlet mall in Chesterfield as well. So we ended up going out there because my mom uh, wanted to go to the Kate Spade store looking for something really in particular. Actually, I was looking for my wallet. Um, probably not the best time to show you guys my wallet, but I have the Kate Spade um, Anita wallet and I adore this thing, you guys. It's awesome. Um, and so she was looking for one and every time we go out to this outlet, um, which is where I bought that, I don't know, a year or so ago, they never have it. And so we had to wait in line just to get into the Kate Spade store. And of course they did not have it. Um, but in any case, just got home from that and I'm heading over to the pool. So my grandparents, I've been blessed my whole life that my grandparents have a pool. My grandparents live about 10 minutes away. So a lot of the summer I go and I go swim over there and enjoy some pool time. And I wasn't going to go, like I kind of wanted to just sit on the couch and watch some Netflix, but I was like, you know what? No, the pool is gonna be closed in like a month max. Um, pools here close pretty much right at Labor Day, which I always hate because normally it's hot for at least two to three more weeks after Labor Day. Um, but that's kind of the Memorial Day to Labor Day. It's definitely kind of like the norm here. And so I know they're gonna be trying to close it pretty pretty quickly here. And so um, I was like, you know what? I need to get in as much pool time as I possibly can. So I'm gonna go over there and swim for, I don't know, two hours or so, just kind of lay on a raft. I brought a book um, to, that's my agenda for the rest of the day. I need to go home and kind of get situated for work tomorrow, get lunch packed and kind of, showered and stuff like that but yeah that's kind of the pretty much the rest of my day just the pool and some chillaxing tonight this is my setup I'm just reading away i thought i would show you guys too um the garden that is over here so my grandparents have lived in this house for years and years my dad oh god come on get this gate open Okay, hard to do that one-handed. Um, my dad grew up in this house, and my grandma has had a pretty, pretty extensive little garden um, back here behind the pool for a long time. So I thought I would show you guys. So I don't know what really grows here anymore, but growing up, she had lots of blackberries here, and I don't know if they just didn't do very well, but I don't think she does that really much anymore. Looks like we've got some tomatoes there going. Um, I feel like there's zucchini and eggplant back there, but mainly we got lots of tomatoes here. So I love garden fresh tomatoes and the smell of tomatoes on the vines. So I don't know exactly what type of tomatoes these are. There's some kind of little Roma tomatoes here. So probably should go pick that one. Um, little cherry tomatoes over here. We've got some more. These are grown in a different way. I don't really know too much about it. And then this is a hydroponic cucumber plant. Um, and so it's literally just water in this barrel with a little bit of fertilizer. The cucumber and the roots go almost all the way down to the bottom of the barrel. And you can see some of the cucumbers growing like there's one there. There's one, a couple underneath there. Um, yeah, but that that is it. Kind of mid-August right now, so everything is starting to, um, still got lots of tomatoes left, um, but a lots of stuff are starting to die, like this hydroponic cucumber starting to look, look a little rough, but still getting some fruit off of that. But yeah, I just wanted to share the garden with you. So I need to pick at least that one tomato, maybe some of these kind of redder, cherry tomatoes here. All right. When that first hit of Diet Coke hits from McDonald's, man, I'm telling you, I can't be the only one that has 
a slight McDonald's Diet Coke addiction. It's just so carbonated and it's so good. But I have obviously left the pool. I actually went to Target. Um, I have been on the hunt for the Mrs. Myers apple cider kind of, it's like a multi-purpose spray, but you know, I kind of wanted it for my counters and stuff. And I went here yesterday, couldn't find it. Um, and then I was talking to Daylene last night and she said that she found it in a different area between like the paper products and the grocery. And so on my way home, I was like, well, I'm gonna run in there real quick. I, my clothes are wet for my swimsuit, but I was like, you know, whatever. Um, so I ran in there real quick. I looked and I looked and found the spot that I think that they would be, um, but they did not have it. They did have the apple cider in the dish soap and I had it in my basket and then I was like, you know what, Alexis, you didn't come here to get that. You didn't want that in the first place and it smells really good, but I don't need the dish soap. I came there for the counter spray or the um, multi-purpose spray. So I put that back and I'm just gonna wait for that. But I did get a, just a few food items um, while I was there. I got um, that Starbucks caramel macchiato coffee creamer. I've really been wanting to try it. And I normally shop at Walmart and Aldi and Walmart is consistently out of it. So I got that. And then I got some stuff for dinner tonight. I'm really craving, I'm not hungry yet. It's only um, about 3.50 in the afternoon and had a decent, decent sized uh, lunch. But I've really just been kind of craving a salad. And so I thought, okay, I'll run in when I'm at Target. I'll get like a prepared, you know how you can get those like salads already like put together. I was like, I'll just get one of those and just have that for dinner. And well, they didn't have anything like that. And I don't want to make another stop. Um, so I'm bringing, I brought home some tomatoes from the garden. I'm just gonna do um, some of the stuff that I bought at Target today. So I bought some patties, some burger patties. So I will show you guys that a couple of vegetable type things like frozen vegetables. And I think I'll just do some tomatoes and call it a night. So I'm on my way home. Like I said, I'll show you the couple of things I got from Target, show you my dinner. I'm going to shower and I'm probably going to watch Orange is the New Black for the rest of the night. Um, I actually just started watching Once Upon a Time on Netflix and was really getting into that. I watched it years ago and then never finished it. And so I started it over and then Once Upon a Time is going away. So I don't know if it's going to Disney Plus, which makes sense, but um, I would like to finish that show eventually, but maybe I'll just get it from the library, like in seasons and, and sets because I don't need Disney Plus. I don't need another streaming service. Like I need to not watch TV. So, and I don't need another monthly bill to add on to Hulu and Netflix. Um, so I switched to watching Orange is the New Black. Again, I probably watched like three seasons or so of that when it kind of first was out. And then, um, kind of fell off of it, wasn't into it, but I started watching it again. So I'm almost done with season two right now. And um, yeah, so I'll probably watch more than that, more of that. I just finished Shit's Creek on Netflix not too long ago. You guys, oh my goodness, where have I been my whole life? That show was so funny. It took me a minute to get used to the character Alexis because I've never watched a show where they've had a character with that name and so every time they said that name I kind of you know whenever you hear somebody call your name you you know it's like Pavlov's dog or you know you get triggered um, and so it definitely took me a minute to get used to that but other than that I really loved that show that was so good um, so super funny I definitely like the beginning seasons better than the latter seasons I thought they were funnier and then they kind of started getting more dramatic um, which was fine, but I definitely preferred it, I think, when it was more um, kind of right in the beginning, super comedy, things like that. So, in any case, enough jabbering. I'm going to be home in a few minutes and just kind of settle in for the evening. Okay, so this bag are all the tomatoes I brought home. And then a Target here. Let's see. I got these for dinner bacon and cheddar beef patties i thought these looked super good there's four patties in there i'll probably cook two of them and then package the other two up and freeze them and cook them you know at a different point so i'm gonna have that i also found that creamer from starbucks so i'm really excited to try that as well and then i got two kind of frozen things 
the bird's eye shredded Brussels sprouts, Parmesan garlic sauce, lightly seasoned with salt and black pepper. I thought I would give it a go. I love Brussels sprouts. I don't know so much about frozen. Let's see. 210 calories per container. That's really good. Honestly, I'll probably eat this whole thing, a patty, and then some of the tomatoes. And then for another night, another time, I found these seasoned red potato wedges and onions. Oven roast 25 minutes or less. So I thought that was, that was cool. So anyway, that's what I got. Um, no Mrs. Myers in sight, but I will keep checking. So we ended up watching some YouTube instead of Orange is the New Black, but I've got Lisa Roberry's latest vlog going. And then got this situation. I don't have a grill, but I do have a George Foreman. But to be honest with you, I just didn't want to get it out. So those are about done. Um, and then the Brussels sprouts, I don't, oh geez. I don't really know. They smell very good, but they're looking really mushy and I haven't messed with them too much, but um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. And then get a big old plate of some maters. So I'm excited. I'm definitely getting hungry. Okay. So verdict, it's all really good. So I'm just having the burger by itself. I don't need to have it on a bun or anything. Um, plus that saves some calories. The Brussels sprouts are surprisingly good and fresh tasting for being frozen Brussels sprouts. And of course the tomatoes are fantastic. So I am going to finish my dinner and just chill out for the night. So I will end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great Sunday and you enjoyed seeing kind of what I do on my typical Sunday. But I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.